Hello, folks. Hi, guys. I've been working a little bit on uh, prototype sheep from my test. And I haven't really shown that much, except for a couple of videos showing me that uh, I'm working on making sure these guys can actually properly walk around. But there's actually a lot more going on behind the scenes that I want to give you a little bit of a, an introduction to. So, what I've been doing is I've been trying to figure out how to properly make mind test mobs that actually are, I want to say really intelligent, but are smart enough to react to various types of influences, inputs, things changing around them, and properly react. So I've written a sort of a script engine that allows the sheep to go through a scenario, or a script if you call it. And scripts have different parts, and for each part the script will execute the way it's, um, it's written. And if, if anything changes that causes the sheep to go to a different script, then everything will automatically adjust and things will go right. As you can see right now, the sheep are uh, most of the time just standing around, or eating, or walking around. They kind of circulate naturally in between them. So some of the things that they're doing right now that you can see without me actually having done anything with the sheep is they'll just randomly walk around. That's one part of a, that's one script. Then if they are standing close to a grass block, grass plant, or a few bunch of other plants or blocks. They'll start to eat. They won't eat all day long. They'll actually be full after a while. Then they'll stop eating. When they stop eating, they'll probably go walking around a little bit again. Once in a while, they'll just stop and take a look around. Not do anything, really. They'll still wiggle their tails, as you can see. And they're idle. And obviously, there'll be some sounds as well, like footsteps and bleats. But one of the things that could happen is, this is this little guy here, he's not going to eat because he's in the middle of sand. So he'll transition to a script where, where there's something to do for him, which will probably be to walk around again. That's of course, except uh, if I would actually force him to go into a different script. And I can do that, for instance, by hitting him. If I hit this, the sheep or any of the sheep, they'll actually go into a new script, which will play a new animation, and a whole bunch of series of events will occur from there on. So let me just demonstrate. If I hit the sheep, we will first go into a startle animation. That means he'll be very angry at me. I'll jump up, be like very confused. And right after that animation ends, we'll go to the fleeing script. And the fleeing script will actually make him go away from me at a higher speed than normal. So a bunch of things will happen when I hit him. First he'll transition from one script to another script to a third script, and his default properties will actually be modified from a walking speed of 2 meters per second to 4 meters per second. The animation speed will also be modified. Alright, there we go. Yikes. There he goes. Goes off right away. As you can see, well, he's blocked on another sheep. And if he wouldn't be blocked, he's actually running quite quick. I'm having a hard time keeping up with him as a normal player. So, quite easily we can modify the speed. Right, he's given up. He says, okay. Right now he's been running for 15 seconds or so, and after 15 seconds he'll stop running away from me. Most likely in the actual game it will be a much longer time. It will be a couple of minutes or maybe a couple of days. And he'll actually try to run away from me pretty far. They don't get stuck in each other. <laughs> That's hilarious. Alright, come on folks. Alright, there they go. Well, that was one hit too much. As you can see, it won't just give up. He actually keeps walking quite a ways away from me. He's pretty pissed at me. I'm going to have a hard time catching up with him right now. Alright. 
Um, obviously, once he's done, he'll go back to his uh, normal script, which will be to just sit around for a little bit and uh, possibly try some food. Try to find some food. Try to eat. Sit around. All right. Um, this is just one very small demonstration of what the code I've been working on can do. The actual code will be entirely open and scriptable for any type of situation. You'll be able to create custom animations and program them for any sort of phase. Uh, you can plug in custom pathfinding algorithms and settings, for instance, to go away from another mob to other mobs to a certain position to a home position back and from a home position further away um, and um, the options are fairly limitless if you can create a scenario where you go from one phase to another because a certain condition has become true the conditions themselves can be fairly simple and written in a few rules and you can plug them into the system and you can then make the make the entity or monster or whatever it is you're making go from one state to another by hooking all everything up so it's uh, it's not going to be entirely simple to make mobs it will be very simple to make a simple mob that just runs around a little bit but um by making the sheep, I am making a whole bunch of building blocks already. So that it will be easier to go and borrow building blocks from other entities and mobs that people have been written and plug them into your own little script. Right now the sheep has, uh, I think it has five or six scripts attached to it that are fairly complete. And each script has its own little driver code and those are just entirely reusable blocks. If I make another animal with a different model, I could just take the uh, the same script of the sheep and modify it where I need it. And it's not actually even code yet. You can actually take the script, it's just a little table that says, hey, these are the states that the mob can go into, and these are the animations that belong to it. And this is how fast the animal can walk in this in this state, etc. And you'll be able to make any type of mob. You can make an aggressive mob that attacks back. You can make a passive mob. You can make a mob that explodes. Whatever you can think of, you'll be able to program it this way. Wow, you ran nice and far away in one go. Look at him go. All right, folks. Um, this will be uh, quite a ways before this is anywhere near finished. Um, not planning to release this code anytime soon until I think that it's actually ready, which will probably mean that uh, I'll have five or six mobs actually fully programmed, fully scripted, and all the code written to make them behave in the way that I really want them to behave, including things like dropping items for the player, um, adding the proper gameplay value, mobs changing the world. For instance, these sheep will likely go and eat the grass and make grass shorter. Um, there will be mobs that uh, attack the player without uh, the provocation. There will be um, all sorts of uh, fun things coming, but these monsters will all be very consistent and well-tuned, um, well-textured. These are actually just, I'm not even happy with these textures right now. They're way too crude and too simplistic. Hopefully we'll uh, make them a lot better before these are going to be ready. Thanks for listening, folks. I hope you like this.